Gail Huff, the wife of Senator Scott Brown, stopped by our station last week to talk about her growing role in her husband's bid for re-election against Democrat Elizabeth Warren. I'm out there and I'm very much out there. First we talked about her Waltham roots. Huff said she grew up in a large family with four sisters. Her father was a vet and her mother a student loan coordinator at Bentley College. We were just a very big, very loud family. Huff attended Waltham High School in Bentley. She and her husband now divide their time between Washington and Rentham, but she still dines at the Chateau. You can't go to the Chateau without having, uh, you know, some of their amazing bread. And uh, so it always feels like home. As a veteran reporter for Boston's ABC affiliate, Huff was not involved in Brown's 2010 run for the U.S. Senate. I didn't go to a single rally. I didn't go to a single event. Today, it's a different story. Now a reporter with a Washington news station, she's taken a leave of absence to campaign full time. After her interview, Huff popped into Wilson's Diner to meet supporters, then was off to Watertown to watch New Jersey Governor Chris Christie stump for her husband. In August, she was at Shoppers Cafe on Moody Street to watch some local Democrats endorse Brown. I think you learn a lot about someone when you live with them, when you're married to them. She appeared in campaign ads several months ago, but a recent one is noticeably more political. In it, she describes attacks on her husband's stances on women's issues as sad. He supports women's health care, and he's for good jobs with equal pay. It hurts me, and it's sad to see Scott attacked because he's not a woman. The Warren campaign responded with an ad of their own, citing Brown's voting record in Congress. I mean, all you have to do is look at his voting record. He had one chance to confirm a Supreme Court justice to uphold Roe versus Wade. He voted no. I have no idea what they say, think, or believe. I can only say that my husband supports women. He is pro-choice. He is very moderate. Huff seems comfortable in her new skin, but wary of how Washington works left and right, up, down, black, white, rich, poor, man, woman. I mean, you can divide anyone. The bottom line is we're not going to get anything done. We're not going to get this country moving forward unless we come together, unless the Democrats and Republicans decide that they're going to come together and they're going to work together to get America moving forward. Scott understands that on its most basic level that we have to work together. And that's what he brings to the table that I don't think his opponent can. For Waltham News Watch, this is Chris Wangler.